The blue right. stripes were oh. more than a fighting force. I selected and trained what? those men. Too so much weight. True. Hey, you, you train a lot of men. I got King Hensel's sword. It's trash. It's actually a trash sword. Like this Neva is better than your sword. What the hell, man? This is silver though. 32, 36. Yeah, King Hensel, you're trash. Trash in life, trash in death. Don't even have a good sword, man. What the hell? It can wait. It's a damn common sword. Wow. What a bad king. Doesn't even have a good sword. I'm gonna dump it. It's not a quest item, it's just an additional weapon. It's just an additional steel sword, silver sword. Why, what the hell is additional weapon? I don't know, man. But I don't wanna dump this very expensive. Um. Alright, I'll guess I'll. You know, uh, yeah, you could drop two of these. Drop like four of these. Drop like four of these. I don't know, like eight of these. There they weren't go. even given the chance to die in combat. I'm good. You also lost your king, Vernon. Don't forget why you embarked on this mission. I haven't. If Leto and Sheila are in, they'll be <laughs> I don't know what Leto is. Why are they killing Leto again? He's killing the king. Mainly because the last king we saw was kind of a bit of a jerk. So, uh, we kind of killed the last king. Damn it, Geralt. We've got to hurry. Yo, I can't loot all this stuff, can I? Shit. <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to loot all this. Just take, take the light stuff. Take the 0 0.1 stuff. Leave everything else. How about that? RPIs, feathers, twine, sure, take all this. We are heading. We are hurrying to the gates of Black Moon, which we are now. I set an all side by Dan Hardy. And the steaming piles of shit. Give me. Oh, I gotta take robust cloth. Crazy man, I need that for my new armor that I'm gonna use. Through the claws, you don't want it. Put some feathers. You don't want claws or leather. Alright, why am I it's so everything's so heavy, man? You know what? We don't want harpy claws anyway. Drop three of those, go back, go back, we're okay now. Is that lock moving? I mean we're here. Almost. There's a guard I see there. Look, oh, right. Lock me in the ancient stone walls and all that. Kind of cool. Give me a second here. I'll just uh, three talent points. You crazy? Unlock world. Unlocks the ability to deal damage to many opponents. The additional opponents take fifty percent damage and then hundred percent damage. Then I can jump into getting more vitality. Twenty-five more. Okay, and then later we can make it a hundred more. Then we have a path, chance of critical effect bleeding 10%. Sudden death instant kills. All critical effects plus 5%. And then vitality and damage reduction. Group finishers and whirlwind. What well, this is adrenaline stuff. Alright. Well, that's a lot of nice points. Increase my vitality. And also now. Give me big ass groups of enemies, I'll see what happens. Wait, it's the wrong sword. the heavy stuff. Light stuff we can grab though, we never know when we might need it. Oh, I grabbed a harpy claw, man. I'm screwed. Yep. <sighs> Some would say just drop uh, Karen tissue. Nah, I gotta keep that Karen. Karen tissue, man. Drop the Karen tissue. Uh, 
not like 16 twine. But, uh, <laughs> let's keep it moving. We get robust. dump one of these swords that is the easiest way to do things seven harpy claws dude get rid of three of them we don't want the claws the claws are like whatever we don't want claws rather than twine we do want robust claws again how much robust claws do we have it's crafting materials by weight seven we need eleven If these people are giving it to me, I mean, I'll take amethyst oil. Cares about so I guess I'll grab this wine. Huh? A lot of stuff around here, huh? It's like a cart or something was driven off the road. No more Harvey. Oh, talk to Rado. Nice. This is the last place I'd expect to see Knights of the Flaming Rose. Oh. They're here with Radovid. After losing their foothold in Temeria, they rebuilt their position at the Redanian court. You best stay out of sight. You never know with those bigots. Yeah, we also had a little disagreement recently. Mm -hmm. They could be holding a grudge. I did kill I'll leader. explain that your presence in Loch Muin is necessary. What now? What can we expect to see in the city? Separate camps, buffer zones, and frequent patrols. Well, that's how it should be organized if those mages from the Conclave have any sense. Ah, another area of your expertise. The Peace of Sintra was signed on April the 2nd. And all around was quiet, calm, and orderly. If you don't count Hensel's rules and the all-night festivities of the Mahakam Volunteer Army. And the common folk were positively thrilled with the parade that followed. Yet, not one of those fuckers even knew that I, and a few others like me, spent a week Pouring over the city map and devising a way to keep those crowned idiots separate, just in case one decided to deal the next blow in a long standing feud. In any case, I hope to see something similar here. Well planned, Relax. Yeah. The mages want royal gold. They'll make sure all the sources of financing remain alive and present, at least until the inevitable quarrel of the Pontar Valley breaks out. Right. Well, we'll see if there is indeed a way where there's a will. If we're separated, we'll meet up again in the main square. Fine. All right. Are you gonna talk to them or just run in? All two goes there. Approach. The service of the kingdom of Temeria. One more thing: the Witcher Geralt of Rivia is with you. I trust you'll let him pass. I'm out. Internal affairs. Alright, well, that went well. Alright, there's some stuff I gotta do here first, though. What the heck? I just walked into a dang cave. No, 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 I gotta go in first, dude. I got no space. My inventory is chock full of stuff. I don't care about Radovid. Radovid can go to hell apparently, but uh, what I really gotta do is. Uh, Bolt, who goes there? Geralt of Rivia. I'd slaughter you like a dog if it wasn't for Vernon Roach. I'm not a Kingslayer. I don't care if you killed Faltest. You stood against us, and the Order never forgets. Uh huh. Greetings. Regards. Well, they seem pretty nice about it. More order knights, just the order here. Regards. Greetings. Renounce witchery and repent. Witcher? What do you mean, witcher? 
I shall pray for you. That's nice. I shall pray for you. They're all praying for me. See, that's, that's good. That's good. Uh, Valentine. Because I don't really pray. I don't think Gallant prays at all. It doesn't seem like a religious thing. Do you have a merchant Which among you? I shall pray for you. Regards, regards. I shall pray for you. They all want to pray. Camp of the Order of the Flaming Road. Where is this man? We gotta reach the ancient city, ancient elven city of Loch Muin. Ages earlier, the sorcerer Greffery Monarch had bought a group of human children gifted with spontaneous magical abilities here for training. Taught by elven wise, the sorcerers became legendary sorcerers who aided the human pioneers. When humans had finally settled the continent, they repaid their debt of gratitude by destroying Loch Muin and slaughtering its inhabitants. Great. The scenic city ruins now ironically played host to a summit of sorcerers. The Nilfgaardian delegation was also taking part, and the black ones had bought the kidnapped Prince Marigold with them. Pondering the fickleness of history, Geralt searched for any traces of the sorcerers. Shilat Fitzowenstein was the key to her freedom. The story of the assassin of kings ended in Loch Muin. Before the conclusion arrived, a series of unexpected events took place. If you wish to know more about Letho, the power that stood behind him, and the motive which had spurred his nefarious deeds, be patient and This is still going on. Geralt knew he would find both Sheila and Letho, the two behind the monarch's assassination in Loch Muin. So he journeyed to the ruined city to bring about the last chapter of the story of the Assassin of Kings. Alright. Any soldiers? Wait, this is still going on. Huh. Well, I'm actually, I checked this for locations. Camp of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose brought to Loch Muin by King Radovid of Redania had made camp at the city gates. Tasked with maintaining order and providing security for guests arriving for the summit of mages and monarchs, they were keen to observe all, all the traffic streaming into the city. Put them in a good position to uh, do bad stuff. Dandelion. When Geralt and Roche headed for Loch Muin to meet their destiny, I had a little desire I had little desire to sit in Hensel's camp. Despite their victory, the Kedveni's mood was as sour as milk in the udders of a dead cow. Therefore, I packed up, resolving to reach Loch Muin in time to witness the important events transpiring there. This was not to be, however, as Geralt's arrival accelerated events as usual. Thus, I know the rest of the story only from the account of others, yet I present it here as faithfully as possible. Anything omitted was surely not worth a mention in the first place. I'm sure. Uh, when fate placed the king of Kedwin in his hands, Verun used them to kill Hensel. Thus, he demonstrated the weight of the, his threats and the distance he would go in order to settle his scores. The Blue Stripes captain wanted to settle scores as the Kingslayer and Death Mode. Thus, he left with Geralt for Loch Muin to close the final chapter of his story. And you're with. He saved him. Uh, though the fall of Vergen marked the ruination of the Spiretel commander's dreams, the fact that Geralt appeared during the battle must have been a pleasant surprise for him. Elves tend not to express their emotions effusively, but the obvious behavior indicated that the Witcher Age's aid was not without meaning to him. However, the two finally parted ways, and that short meeting was their last, at least where the story is concerned. Zoltan Shivi. After the fall of Vergen, the roads were flocked with refugees. On one such road outside Hensel's camp, I met Zoltan, who had luckily managed to flee safely. It was. It is hard to remember the last time I was as happy as when I saw his bearded face. Zoltan and I kept each other company during that journey, and we reached safety together. But that is a different story altogether. Sheila as well, who's a bad lady. The interests of the sorcerers and the assassins were no longer the same. It appeared, okay, yeah. Following the sorcerers was no easy task. The court, court very fled for Loch Muin and were always one step ahead of Geralt. Oh, yeah. Hensel was dead. Hensel made a mistake of in underestimating the determination of the Blue Stripes captain to avenge his men. Thus ended the line of Kedveni rulers buried a unicorn on their seal. Okay, okay. Saskia is also dead. One victory was out of reach. Once victory was out of reach and defeat inevitable, Saskia fled to Loch Muir, Chili Fire herself. Oh, he ran away. Did he buy stuff from me? May the eternal fire light your way. Eh, yeah, probably not. I can get a lot of your men, you know. Do you have no robust cloth for me? I'm looking for uh, bunches of robust cloth. Diamond dust, you can have. Because I need that for also some armaments I want to make that I'm interested in making. I definitely don't need 44 RP for it though. There you go, 13 of those should cover it. Greetings. 
Blessed be the eternal fire. In its radiance we live, and to it our lives we give. In its heat we eagerly battle, and in it victorious we settle. Okay, you guys having fun talking about the eternal Geralt fire? Geralt the Rivian! Yeah, I am Geralt the Rivian. We got a problem? Regards. Renounce Regards. witchery and repent. What, 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 what are you against witchery? Witchery is so cool, man. Immortal light. Spare us from beasts fanged and clawed. I do that. Living flame. You don't need living flame. Walls protect us. The floor. You got witchers. Secret fire. Show us the true way in the dark. Sacrosanct ember. Help us keep the chastity mark. I don't believe any of you are chest. Regards. You want to do some sword fighting with me? Regards. Regards. I don't mind killing some of you, or no, not killing, but you know. Showing you the true power. Regards. Show you why your people lost. Greetings. Greetings. Regards. Sort of a pig here. Insults. Regards. I remember you from Vizima. Mm -hmm. Regards. You want me to kick yeah. your ass, buddy? You want to repeat of that? Uh, freaking, I don't know, hard the eyes. Make a lot of those. So Stop making a little. Block. Because, you know, diamond dust and amethyst dust and all is probably more valuable. Eternal fire, light, and ember. Clear my... I remember you from Vizima. Everyone remembers me. I'm very famous. You know? New quest phase. Follow one and Roach. What a Maria. Uh, and thus we arrive at the final chapter of the tale of Geralt and the Assassin of Kings. The Witcher left Geralt hinking Hensel's camp and traveled to Loch Muin, an ancient city once inhabited by the elves. The mages were organizing a great summit there and Geralt hoped the treacherous Sheila and Anselvis would attend. He also hoped to free trace from her kidnappers. Vernon Roach, driven by an immense thirst for revenge on the sorcerer death mold, was at the witcher's side. Geralt and Roach thus had grand intentions, and there was no doubt that events would take a turn towards the bloody. However, the reality outdid any and all such suppositions. Suppositions. At a meeting of sorcerers, one could expect to find anything, from a princess turned into a frog, or a host of elemental genies. However, the sight of Loch Muin Gate surprised the heroes. Knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose made camp by its side. Vernon was glad, for the knights arrived in the retinue of Radovid, the king of Hedania, and Roach thought him an ally. He decided to speak with the young monarch as soon as possible. And so Roach went on, went to the Redanian camp to await the witcher there, while Geralt faced a dilemma, follow him, or to ferret about the area. No, I'll, I'll follow him for now. I want to find someone I can sell this shit to. Because I would like to explore, obviously. Beautiful place. Obviously, it is made by the Tang Elves. Who were then all slaughtered. That's, you know, that's a very good thing to do. Good job. Humans. Although it is said they slaughtered the, uh, the lizard people who lived here before them. So who knows? Perhaps they had it coming. What is even going on here? Do we have a map? We do have a map. This looks like an abandoned area for sure. Is there a monster in here? Because I'll, I'll fight him. I'm a witcher, I'm Geralt of Rivia. Legendary picture. Oh. Oh. Get me up away from behind the Guess wall. Never the 
are two more gargoyles up there. Actual normal stone statue. This will be your first, honestly. I'll grab the dust. Again, I'm wandering off to the side area. I should not be. I should be running straight to wherever a merchant is. I get the itch to explore, but I have no space in my inventory to grab the fruits of my exploration. And you just find like, I don't even, the mysterious merchant probably hanging around somewhere. He's always around to buy stuff. People want him around or not, he's there. Tamarian quarter. Yeah, that's an area. During the summit of mages and monarchs, the camp of the Tamerian delegation led by John Natalis extended over an entire district of Loch Muin. Plenty of diplomats milled around the camp, but soldiers of President Park get a number. At your service. Waste of words. Ah! You all believe I killed the king. Stay away from me. Hello? Greetings. Do you buy stuff? Do you buy stuff? True, true. What are you going to do for? I'll take your money. An armory? I True, true. Hey, Natalis. Map of the Pontar Valley, sure. Hey, Natalis. Roach may trust you, but I'm not so sure. What do you want? The Council of Regents. Representatives of the Council of Regents. Did any come with you? Only Baron Kimbolt and Count Maraval. The other five remain in Vizima. It seems that save Baron Orval, most spend their time trying to devise a way to undermine Anais's claim to the throne. Kimbolt and Marivelle. What's their stance? Well, they've taken opposing positions, as one might expect. The Baron believes Anais's origin, if you will, stands in the way of her taking the throne. Though it's common knowledge that he would simply prefer to seat himself on it. Whereas Marivelle has said that Foltest's children have his full support. He stated this in Vizima before the entire council. Maybe he's lying. One thing is certain. Words come cheap. Those two may change their minds in a flash if Anais is found and recovered. Alright, several important people will be absent from the summit. Impressive summit, but not all the players have their representatives here. The most important do. The mages thought about inviting everyone, but time is short. Alright, and Edin? What about Edin? It's a huge country. Torn by conflict and rebellion with no clear ruler. They're not to be taken seriously at this point. Sounds like the Kedweni point of view. The Adernians see it differently, I'm sure. Alright. You think you can strike a deal with the mages? The mages will want to get as much as they can out of this summit. And monarchs don't generally like others dictating terms. This may end in a row. There will be no row. The mages now rely on the mercy of the northern kingdoms. The amphitheater itself is also protected by an anti-magic shield, like the one used at Thanid. The times of mage impunity are gone. They will be shown their place. Alright, uh, there's a commander in here. Where the hell is your, your uh, guy? I want to sell stuff to someone. Surely you have a merchant. This is a big ass army here. Hey? I know nothing. Waste of Welcome. words. Yes, greetings. Oh, oh, I don't so trust so you. In defeatism. Stop sowing defeatism. No offense, but uh, you're scaring my customers away. Well, someone else told me that. Back in the village. I do like money though. 0 0.2 stone medallion. Five urbanas, I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'm back in a bandit. I just need a merchant. Where may I find a merchant? In here. Right next to Roach. Alright, well. I know nothing! Yeah, obviously you know nothing. You're dumb. 
Oh, look at this, we just have money lying around. Amethyst dust, I mean, I can't leave amethyst dust around. Come on, man. It's purple dust. I'll grab the red meteorite as well. I know it's too heavy, but... You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Drop a piece of leather. I should, that should do it. Hmm? Do just stop looking at stuff. This is who are you? Kimbolt. Baron Raven and Kimbolt, I presume. Hmm. Does that witch's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? Does it grant you the right to speak to the highborn without being asked to do so? Yes. I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no. I know who you are. Geralt of Rivia. Fortest's other favorite hound, alongside Roach. Not purebred. Okay, so you like your... You say you bring trouble blood, wherever huh? you appear. What are you doing in Lockwood? They're gonna re-establish the Conclave. Didn't expect so many Temerians to show up for the ceremony. We're not here for some magic pomp and circumstance. This is about celebrating a new order in the Northern Kingdoms. Is that so? Your kind doesn't understand this yet, but your life is about to change. Forever, my You're kind. Do it. Wanderers and scoundrels. Great. People, and I use the term loosely, without loyalty or country. People for whom coin is the law and everything's for sale. That's everyone? <laughs> what is the situation for Tameria? What'll happen to Tameria? Is that a note of nostalgia I hear in your voice? Remembering your service under Faltest or recalling some romp in the sack with the royal advisor? Whichever it may be, oh, right, uh, spare me your Chris. courtesy. You don't care a lick about my country. <laughs> to Demeria? Ask for Roche's sake. I asked out of concern for a friend. I came here with Vernon Roach. I know. Mm -hmm. We royal hounds like to stick together. Understand this. I'm talking to you only out of respect for Fortest. Out of remembrance for him. I haven't seen much evidence of that remembrance. Aside from the rewards on my head. They'd have hanged you if not for the testimony of little Anais. Oh. So the girl finally talked. Hmm. Whoever that monk was, to me, he was just like you. Mm, okay, well, I am a killer for hire. There's some truth to it. Uh, what sort of happened to Maria? I take it you sit on the Council of Regents. Not for much longer. Why is that? The Council will become obsolete. Temeria is a country one rules with a crown on one's head. Oh, not at all. A lot of people are out to don that crown. But few have the right. As Fultis's cousin, the throne should be mine. Or the royal daughters, Anais Lavalette's. Mm -hmm. Dark will be the day when we are ruled by bastards. The nobles have decided to share power. Yeah, that you said it yourself, well. Baron. In a crown or not at all. Temeria will be divided into provinces. A shameful end to the monarchy. A shameful end to the country. You have royal edicts, map, bed, nothing to loot. Alright, well, we trash. Stop looking at me! Scared of me now? You should be. Oh. Oh, I'm an archer. What's up? I see a merchant here. Mar. Mar. <laughs> Ah, Geralt of Rivia, I am delighted to see you among the living and the free. Are you serious, Count? Such an injustice to lock you up without so much as a hearing. And then the beatings, the torture, it's barbaric, I tell you. Based on pure prejudice, the presumption of guilt. Actually, if I'd seen what they saw. Uh, but alas... Such is my homeland, filled with fear and thus ruthless, cold as stone, dark and severe in aura and mindset. I suppose there's some truth to that. A response at once cautious and reasonable. Admirable qualities in and of themselves positively required in your profession. If you say so. But tell me, Witcher, what brings you here? Are you nipping at the heels of Foltest's killer, close to beheading the wretch as I expect is your style? Do you require my assistance? I just have some questions, Count. 
Well, ask away by all means. I am finding you a skilled, if slightly reticent, conversationalist. You don't look very convenient. I've got to say, you stand out, Count. I'm flattered, I suppose, but what specifically do you mean? I haven't quite put my finger on it, but take a look around. Would you say you resemble your countrymen? I thank the gods I do not. It is because I love my homeland that I am the first to note its faults, and they are many. Care to elaborate? Hypocrisy, superstition, lack of learning. Need I go on? There's no university. You have my undivided attention. If you wouldn't mind. Mm -hmm. Take you witches, for instance. What? The gods know we suffer a plague of beasts. Pre-conjunction, post-conjunction, magically bred and sprung from rotting marshes and the dark abysses of our land. No such thing as pre-conjunction creatures. <laughs> Uh, you bite unnecessarily. We have but one remedy for this plague, dwindling in numbers as it may be, yet it is a remedy we revile. You are shunned, spat upon, turned away on stormy nights. Would you say this is reasonable? No. It's the way of things. Yeah, but it is Spoken the way. like a true representative of a dying species. Well, what brings you here? What brings you to Loch Mwain? Concern for my country, Witcher, and an express and somewhat surprising request from Constable Natalis. Hmm. Surprising? How so? Surely you jest, Witcher. Truth be told, few could marshal loyal forces matching mine on such short order, a Baron Kimbolt accepted. Yet, though I very much held Foltest's trust, I cannot say that many of my Temerian peers feel the same way. Why do you suppose that is? They resent me. I share neither their customs nor their beliefs. So you're an outsider. Alright. What bring cons sh they re Alright. Bye bye Nadalis. Seems to have a nice Why do you need so many pillows and a freaking doll? You have a kid? Maybe he <coughs> likes dolls. Hello, I see you have your baggage all set out here. The waves through your damn houses? That seems extreme. You have soldiers just walking through here all the time? See you sleeping at all? Morning, men! Oh, morning, morning, Commander! Commander. Company fall in! Ten shut! Know what attention means, you fool? Aye, sir. Where are you from? From Verka, Commander. You've got shot us for brains, you bumpkin. Aye, sir. At ease! We all serve the Emperor, be it in Nilfgaard or here. Semper Fi! We serve him faithfully and effectively. If anyone gives me reason to doubt this, I shall skin him alive. Aye, right. right, Commander. Do well by the Emperor, and the Emperor will do well by you. You shan't regret it. Understood, ladies? Long live, Long live Emperor! the Emperor! Formation! Forward march! They're just doing patrols, the baddies. What the hell are they? Alright. Oh, hello. Hells bells, who do we have here? Witcher Geralt, the seeker of square coins. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Last time Zivik stuck his nose in. This time, he's not around. Fight! Fist, you want a fist fight? Oh, okay. I mean, I'll beat you up. Oh, he just tossed me up and tossed me. All right, uh, just a second. I, I double flicked. Get kicked in the nuts. Yes. And I'm using my leg pretty well. WD. Oh. Kicked straight to the floor. Goodbye. I'll get you, snitch. Don't try this again. You get beat up again. A score to settle. It's done. Quest completed. In the square of Loch Muin, Geralt chanced upon a Kadveni soldier he had met back in Adar. You might remember that the soldier had a score to settle with the Witcher, and given the chance, he decided to do so amid the picturesque scenery of the ruins. Geralt was no weakling, however, and beat the living daylights out of his opponent. Of course. 
as I am want to do. Oh, hey, Kimboat. In pursuing the prof their profession, witches meet individuals both warm and unfriendly, yet they are mostly indifferent to the, ty to the types with which they must deal, since they themselves can become so unpleasant that only tax collectors and sorceresses can rival them. Be that as it may, Baron Kimball made an extremely bad impression on Geralt. He was one of the most powerful individuals in Temeria, yet out of Holtest's death, his influence grew further. He was known to deal remo remorselessly with any who stood in his way. The sole thing that could be said in his favor is that he supposedly adored his hunting dogs. Yet he had to leave them behind when he traveled to Loch Muin, and perhaps that may have made him even more discourteous than usual. Why did Geralt put up with him? Well, Kimball apparently had something to do with the disappearance of Brucey, Holtest's son. Marvel. Count Marvel belonged to that singular category of individuals who can strike a bargain with anyone, who are so pragmatic in their thinking that they can persuade, at least in part, even those most strongly opposed to their viewpoint. Marvel thoroughly enjoyed the game of Temerian politics. He was an active and reputedly highly effective player, in addition to being one of the country's most influential aristocrats. Much like Baron Kimbold, he had grand ambitions, yet he held them in check and was much more ingenious and precise in pursuing his plans. And Renewald Ap Matheson. Just as Ambassador Shilat Fitzonstein was the Emperor's mouth here in the north, Renewald Ap Matheson was his ironclad fist. One look at this stern warrior's face was enough to instill a justified respect. He and his ilk symbolized symb uh, became symbols of Nilfgaardian power when black standards and cloaks fluttered together with the tramp of the cavalry's hooves and the clash of arms in battle. The veterans from the Imperia Brigade were famed for their fanatical loy loyalty to the Emperor, and Matheson was no exception in that regard. He carried out his rule of every order without question. Alright, so he's uh, chilling out right here where everyone else is, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, carry too much weight. You know what? You're a dang merchant. Now tell me about the Wild Hunt. I'm collecting information about the Wild Hunt. Help me out. The Wild Hunt? A retinue of wraiths who speed across the heavens upon skeletal horses. Positive proof of its existence has yet to be proffered. However, no one is prepared to deny its occasional sorties into this world. Proffered? Sorties? That, at least, is what I remember from the lectures. Hmm. I'm a student, alright. Let's trade first. I got some stuff to sell here. For example, a silver sword I don't need. Where the hell is the sword of the king? Oh, there it is. King Hansel's sword. You can have that as well. Some daggers, as for junk. There you go, all these rings, medallions, and magnifying glasses. I don't need any of them. Books have no weight. You know what? I'm fine with books. I think they can stay, honestly. Uh, what do I not need? I don't like to sell. Like, Harvey presents. I don't need 31 of them. Twine. Two twenty-five. This is so hard. It's so much, man. I don't need all of this hard piece of iron. I get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Should lower weight by a good amount at least. Oh, keep diamond also. Let's just sell like a little bit of it. Because you might need those for enhancements. I know we can only use like two or three enhancements each. But even so, even still. Because I have so much stuff is the problem. Oh my god, the enhancements, incredible. Mutagens, formulas even have weight. Whatever, man, I'm done. Oh, tell you what, uh, let's roll some dice first. Once I beat you in dice, then we can uh, make my armor. That armor is also taking up a bunch of weight, so. Five, five, okay, we got a pair of five. She got three fives, I don't like that at all. I have a small bet. I'll, I, I may lose. Oh, it's a draw. What the hell? We replay. That's the first time that has happened. And it reach at five, five. One, two, six, six, two. Okay, so I got two, I got a... I got a bunch of pairs, okay. Uh, we just re-roll this one. We just need a two or a six. That's a one in three chance. Come on. Two! Hey, we got a full house. I win. Get screwed, lady. Ah! 
Alright, let's trade. Oh, you can change my hairstyle. You can't. Huh? Well. Beings of elements of earth. Brookse, ecologist of death. Japanese memories. What the hell is this? Give me a second. Alright. Uh, dude, okay, you know what? Drowners, Intriga, Salad Sauce, stuff I sold you. Children of the formulas, but I own them all. Gargoyles, Harpies. How to kill a Boulevard, King Ensel, so I mean I have already. Magic and power. The runes of power. Well, well, well. They are quest items too. How interesting. Troll tongue, twine, braids, spear and trembling. Alright. You got stuff on ya. Yeah? Hey, well, we'll cut this episode short. See you all in the next one.